<laughs> yeah, now you'll try to uh, jiggle it out because again, it's sitting on like uh, just like the the sides stick off. You know how they uh, you gotta pop it and then lift it mm -hmm. up. Same thing for the back. You'll uh, you'll just grab it a little bit and that's it. You take pull it out. That's it. And be very careful because there's capacitors and stuff on there. Yeah, it's gonna that. come out smoothly. That's scary. Okay, yeah. this is basically just the back plane then that we're looking at, right? Yeah, because that's it. You have to unplug it because you're going to be pulling out the printer circuit board. and It won't come forward if that piece is plugged in. Okay, so this is over there. Jam my finger. What's up with that? All right. All right, now you're going to use your uh, star screwdriver and take out the two uh, screws in the front that's uh, holding the, the power supply and the printer circuit board in place. Oh, that's okay, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that cover there. Yeah, you'll have to use a tiny little uh, star screwdriver on the right side and take okay. out uh, those two little screws there. In America, we call those Phillips. Phillips. I think they're called number zero uh, screws. And those have to come out, right? Yeah, they have to come out because the printer circuit board is all going to come out through that uh, area. Oh, man. These are very, very... The bottom yeah, one came out fine. You have to be careful. You don't want to strip the screws. And uh, it's quite an unusual small size that uh, you should make sure you have the right uh, star uh, or Phillips screwdriver. Yeah, thanks for the warning now. <sighs> Yeah, okay, for those of you playing the home game, I'm using one of these very, very small, uh, like, eyeglass screws. Uh, you want to make sure that you put it in directly hard and then use the pressure of your hand against it to push because I pretty much just stripped, or partially stripped, one of these tiny little screws. So this will be the last time I open up this case. Okay? So, okay, so there's two of them, one on the top, one on right. the bottom. That's it. Now just slide it to uh, to your right, and then wiggle, wiggle it out, and then there will be a cable to unplug. Okay, and that's the USB. Yeah, that connects to the uh, the little motherboard there for the USB lights, uh, the USB connection, and the lights. Uh, okay. Got that going on. All right. Sorry. Okay, now you're going to use a larger oh. Phillips screwdriver. Hold on. Time for a beverage. Okay. Good. That's it. Now you'll have uh, two uh, uh, Phillips uh, star screwdriver screws to take out. One on the on the left. You can see it there at the bottom. Okay. And these uh, are these two lower. like mini motherboard screws, correct? No, uh, lower. There's one lower. Yeah, that one. And then the other one is behind the cable on the right, a little bit in the back. Oh, okay. Power supply. Yeah. Sorry, I jumped supply. ahead. All right. Yeah, um, you won't have to take the motherboard off the power supply. That's a good thing. Okay. And it's a pretty tight fit. Like you'll notice there that the uh, the heat sink on the uh, CPU is like practically touching the uh, the drive cage there. Yeah, it's only got a couple millimeters of clearance. Yeah, and then you'll uh, you'll start to wiggle that out. It'll be a little bit of a tough uh, fit. Okay, so the the power unit is actually, and watch out for these screws. The power unit is actually connected to the motherboard and everything via this plane or this plate, and the whole thing will come out as a unit, correct? Yeah. Okay. That's it. Take it all the way out. Holy crap. Click a tugboat. Yeah, it's heavy. Okay, so that's, that's getting all the way down to the server. I think we're only uh, 13 minutes into this so far. Uh, a lot of that was just been us talking, so um, you can see how it goes. You can see how everything's shown here. Uh, let's just cover a little bit of, of what's here. Um, we have the processor heat sink. Uh, notice that there is no fan on top of it. Uh, we have the bridge. Uh, we have on the back side, we have the eSATA connection, the Ethernet connection. Uh, we have the reset. Uh, which you wouldn't see, correct, on the back side? Uh, that's, yeah, the power, yeah. Right. Um, the USB, uh, and then we have the one uh, dim slot for the memory, which is what we're going to change. 
Uh, it's a very clean unit. Uh, also, John and I were talking before about your um, your 2032 battery. You know, if you were supposed to change those or, or what works for you when you do this. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, we're running up on our time limit for the first video. Uh, I'm going to blow this thing off out in the front yard and then we'll be right back. Okay, since we've got this whole thing apart, I took the the, the main board and power supply uh, outside and cleaned it up. Uh, cleaned up really nice. It was in a good environment to start with. And then John and I were talking a little bit about the case. Since I've got it all here, I might as well clean it out uh, and, and use the compressed air outside uh, now that the board is out of it. Uh, we were talking, John, you had mentioned a little bit about the sides. Yeah, that's right. You don't necessarily have to take the sides off there when you're doing this the ramp upgrade. But uh, what I like to do is clean out the fans in the back and that grill sometimes. So uh, to, take, to take the back part off, you have to take the sides off because it wraps around to the front. And then you, you should be able to snap that back part off, like move it up. And it'll just go up a quarter inch. It has the same type of little tabs as the sides. Again, it's a little bit of a tough uh, way to do it. So it's good that you have a video to show people the, the real life, uh, how it goes. Yeah, this is how I broke my parents' server. <coughs> Ah, crap, I'm tired of getting my hands beat up. Yeah, I think you got it. Yeah. So here's the back side. Um, John's right, it's just got these little these little tabs that are there. Um, there's two on the back, by the way, John, up here at the top, <laughs> that if you want to push in, it may make it a little bit easier to pop off. You may look the next time you do yours that they're probably broken or worn down. But it looks like you'd push these down a little bit. Yeah, it's just as hard. You can't really get to them from inside the case, like to put the yeah. screwdriver or what. And then there's two also on the bottom. Yeah. So or, there's yeah, there. one there on the left. Yeah. yeah the They're right. in there right next to the power button and then next to the to the USB yeah. ports over there. So, so you see how the dust accumulates sometimes in that in that plate? So uh, that's it. I'll wear, uh, you can blow that out right. and then you can also blow out... Uh, those fans too. What yeah. I actually did this on my server, but uh, you know, it's how you feel comfortable. When I had mine apart, I actually cut out those, uh, the, you know, the grills out the back there of the uh, on the case on the case part. Look at the case. Yeah, see how that grill is. I actually took snippers and cut those, uh, cut out that whole grill so they would come out, so it would have a good, a better airflow. Yeah, I don't. But yeah, just, the designers don't really put those in there for a reason, right, John? Yeah. So that's neat. So anyway, right now you can, if you blow that out, you'll be able to get a, a better uh, flow. Yeah. Well, my wife will not let me do this inside, so we'll be right back, and I will go out and blow my server. Okay. So that's it. So now you have the uh, the whole internal unit, and uh, that's it. On the left side is where the RAM, uh, the memory uh, RAM stick is. So you'll just. Uh, Unplug the uh, there's two little clip a clip on each side, you bring them back and it should pop up. There you go. Okay, this is the HP 512 megabyte chip. Just set that on the side for now. And then I had purchased a Patriot chip, two gigabytes. 